అబుదాబిలో సుష్మా స్వరాజ్ మాట్లాడుతున్నారు లైవ్ లో చూద్దాం ప్రొపగెండా ఆఫ్ రెడికల్ అండ్ ఎక్స్ట్రీమిస్ట్ ఐడియోలాజీస్ యు హెనెస్ అండ్ ఎక్సలెన్సీస్ టూ థౌజండ్ నైన్టీన్ ఇస్ ఇండీ అ వెరీ స్పెషల్ ఇయర్ ఇన్ దిస్ ఇయర్ ద ఓఐసి ఇస్ సెలబ్రేటింగ్ ఇట్స్ గోల్డెన్ జూబిలీ ద యునైటెడ్ అరబ్ ఎమిరేట్స్ ఇస్ సెలబ్రేటింగ్ ఇయర్ ఆఫ్ టాలరెన్స్ అండ్ ఇండియా ఇస్ సెలబ్రేటింగ్ ద హండ్రెడ్ ఫిఫ్టీయత్ బర్త్ అనివర్సరీ ఆఫ్ మహాత్మా గాంధీ అ గ్లోబల్ సింబల్ ఆఫ్ ట్రూత్ అండ్ నాన్ వైలెన్స్ it is therefore a matter of pride for me and for india to be invited in this special year to be your guest of honor and to be extended a hand of friendship i convey my deep appreciation to foreign minister his highness sheikh abdullah bin zaid for his sagacious leadership and for his invitation thank you your highness your highness and excellencies in the past 4 years few relations have seen as much engagement as india's relationship with uae and indeed with the entire gulf and west asia region it is a return of history uae has shown how a nation can power its progress with a grand vision with the openness of the world with an embrace of technology with investment in human resources and with an environment that nurtures talent and cultures from around the world we also express our special gratitude to saudi arabia bangladesh and other friends for their strong support for hearing india's voice in this forum the highness and excellencies the oic member constitute more than 1/4 of the members of the united nations and nearly a quarter of the humanity it is an organization that has a key role in shaping our world it brings together nations on the foundation of a common faith but also by a shared desire for a better future for their people from southeast asia to the shores of latin america from the steppes of central asia to the vast expanse of the african continent from south asia to the great arc of west asia and north africa the nations represented here also reflect a magnificent diversity of language and literature customs and culture history and heritage your highness excellencies india shares much with you many of us have experienced the dark days of colonialism many of us saw the light of freedom and the bright ray of hope at the same time we have stood together in solidarity in our quest for justice dignity and equality of all people regardless of race and religion we have worked together to fashion global institutions into representative platforms defined not by the interest of a few but the voice of all sections of humanity we have together struggled for a world where access to resources markets and opportunities is fair and balanced and with so many nations here India has forged deep bonds of friendship and close partnership. Friends, as India's economy has grown and become more integrated with the world, these partnerships have become stronger. We have excellent political ties marked by warmth, respect and goodwill. With many, we have expanding defense and security cooperation. Our economic engagement is robust and growing rapidly. our digital partnerships are shaping the course of our future and our ties have the warm glow of deepening human and cultural links nations to our east brunei indonesia and malaysia are important pillars of india's act east policy and of our broader engagement in the indo pacific region in our neighborhood with afghanistan bangladesh and maldives we have ties forged in our shared struggles and sacrifices in the immeasurable warmth of our hearts and in our un- unwavering commitment to the security and prosperity of our people and region in central asia where human aspirations linked us across the mightiest mountains since ancient times we are rebuilding our relationship along new routes of possibilities we do this especially with and through iran a country with which we not only share civilizational and cultural links but a partnership 
that is vital for stability and prosperity in our region. In West Asia, our solidarity with the aspirations of the Palestinian people have remained unwavering. Our international journey was often pursued in close partnership with Egypt. Iraq and India have stood together in our triumphs and trials. We have with great admiration supported Jordan's efforts in strengthening the voices of moderation and building bridges of understanding between faiths. Further to the West, with nations like Tunisia, Morocco and Algeria, we work for a shared desire for a more inclusive world. With Turkey, a nation with which we have many strands of connected history, we are imparting new momentum to our ties. Our many friends from Africa are here. It is a friendship of deep emotional bond that comes for, from shared struggle for freedom and for a voice and a place in the world. Today, on the foundations of that extraordinary heritage, India and Africa have launched a new partnership of prosperity in the dynamic African continent. And here in our neighborhood of the Gulf region, our relationships are as old as time. The idea, the tides of Arab, Arabian seas have carried forth our timeless links of trade, culture and religions. Presently, the Gulf region is our largest market, supplier of energy and source of remittances. More than 8 million Indians living in the region are the 8 million vibrant threads of this partnership. But now our relationship is much more than that. Thanks to the extraordinary effort and attention by Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the leadership of the region. It is an indispensable strategic and security partnership and a natural economic partnership of immense value to our nations and for our shared region. Your Highness and Excellencies, today we all live in a world of sweeping changes and multiple challenges that happen but rarely in history. We see global shifts in power. The center of gravity of the global economy is moving to Asia. The international order we are familiar with is changing. Freedom, opportunities, connectivity, health, education and prosperity are more widespread than ever before. The time it takes nations to lift people out of poverty is getting shorter. Digital revolution has created unprecedented opportunities to empower people and transform our economies. We have affordable and accessible technologies that give us hope for a sustainable energy future. Yet, we also live on the edge of uncertainties. Tensions, turbulence, disputes, violence, dislocation, displacement are also at a high. Conflicts within and between societies are rising. We are also seeing the human and economic costs of climate change. And we are witnessing the terrible daily destruction in senseless terrorist violence. It is destroying lives, destabilizing regions, and putting the world at great peril. The reach of terror is growing. Its lethality is increasing, and the toll it is taking is rising. In the rich diversity of Southeast Asia, in West Asia and the Gulf, in North Africa and Sahel region, in Europe and North America, in Afghanistan, Bangladesh and India, we see the terrible face of terror. Excellencies and Your Highness, terrorism and extremism bear different names and labels. It uses diverse causes, but in each case it is driven by distortion of religion and a misguided belief in its power to succeed. The fight against terrorism is not a confrontation against any religion, 